All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. Where I'm stuck with you guys, and we're always smiling. Yes, I'm in the, the rain. If you guys know there's a tropical storm or whatever passing by this area, and if you're in Miami, drop a comment to let us know how you guys are doing. It was a hurricane at one point, now it's a tropical storm. But anyway, yo, we definitely want to do some jerky. That sounds really wrong. We want to jerk some pork today. That's actually going to be the vibe for today's video. I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of the rain to be quite honest, but there's something a little bit soothing about the droplets of rain on the leaves, on the roof. Yeah, it's kind of a little bad. But anyway, I'm gonna do some jerk chicken. Oh, God, no, we're gonna do some jerk pork today. Um, drop in the comments if you do like jerk pork. If you don't like jerk pork, just drop in the comments. Drop a fire up on the pork. Let's do it. All right guys, so it seems that the sun is coming. I thought it was coming out, but yeah, you know how the weather is, everything changes. But I have a couple tips what I do when I come on to jerking chicken or pork. Um, for me, I tell people all the time, I'm not no expert chef, I just have some experiences that I try to share with you guys, whether it's a success or also a failure. Um, one thing that I've noticed over time is the temperature of the coal. Allow the coals to burn out. Don't allow any kind of open flames because if the coals are flaming up, then you're gonna burn your food. A lot of persons, when they see the coal getting hot, they put the meat on, it starts getting dark, it smells damn good because we know what jerk is. Then we cut on the inside, it's not done. That's one thing that I learned. Also, depending on the type of grill that you have, some have the flames a little bit closer to the meat. Of course, the closer to the meat, the lower the temperature that you should be having. And if it's very high, then yeah, maybe the temperature can be a little bit higher. So right now the coal is looking really good. So we're gonna drop the pork on and Let's see if what I say makes sense or not. Oh, I have a quick question. I'm using today the pork shoulder. Or is it the leg? The leg. <laughs> I'm using the pork leg. That's what I'm using today. Um, I like the big chunk of it. Tell me what part of the pork that you use whenever you're dropping pork on your grill. Pork in my 
marinate in quite a while. Good jerk pork is normally marinated at least overnight. Some persons go as far as two days. Some nice slab of pork. If you guys look at the coal, you realize they're no longer black or just red. They are like white. Because it's now dying down a bit. Heat is still hot. Really hot, but... Alright, now that the sweetest meat known to man is on the grill, I'm gonna close it down. And let us do a thing. Oh, I know one of the most obvious questions you guys might be asking is how do we marinate the pork? I actually have a video of an oven jerk chicken. It's basically the same marination. The only thing that's different is that I added pork seasoning. I'll put all the ingredients inside the description box so that you can marinate it as best as you can to the one that we have here. So I just like checking under it to see, you know, how far the pork is coming along. Of course, it's going to fall apart. It's nowhere close to done. But I just kind of want to have an idea where the pork is at. So I'm just going to flip it over. And then get the next side going. Of course, again, it's nowhere close to done. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to add some more jerk seasoning onto this part and add some beer. So, some persons use beer, some persons use water. But I definitely like using beer because it gives a nice you know, Jamaican kind of flavor for sure. And it's more flavorful than water. And now that we got the beer on, you can just wipe on some of the same marinade, which is a jerk sauce onto the pork. What we're trying to do is to keep it moist as possible. So nice heat, nice moisture, keep adding more flavor as you know the professional chefs would say basting the pork. That's what we're trying to do. Alright so we just let it sit there for a while now and First, baste it again, add to some beer. I'm gonna do more of that really quick. I'm gonna baste it again. Yeah, it was meant to be a pool day, as we said, but the rain started, but you don't need to have sun to have a pool day now, right? And I really don't want to sit down and just wait for the pork to be done. That's going to be quite some time, so I think we are going to dive in. Hey, 
it's raining but we're still gonna jump into a hot jacuzzi it's crazy but yo as we wait you don't know the jerk pork is on the grill doing its thing and we just have a chill look for it Listen to the review, did they like it? Oh, you know, they must say, oh, the, mm -hmm. the flavors, bro. Really? And for something, when I finish it, she said it's spicy, and the flavors keep getting intense the more you chew. So, nice. I, I, I'm just saying, juicy as well. Juicy, yeah. awesome. What is it about the pork? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. But Last night, so Facts. Yo, no respect. You know, like when you eat something very recent, a burst of flavors. Yeah. So, so do man, burst juices, yeah. you know? Yeah. Nice. So pork has been on this for quite some time. Slow cook, best way to do it. So now we're just gonna cut it up. See me, real Jamaican way. Chop off a little piece here. See that? Cooked all the way through. Look at that. You want some? Again, drop in the comments which part you use. I like using a nice chunk of meat because that way I can have a nice tender cut and at the same time I get a lot of meat. So this is my preference for pork. So you jerk my name do it, you know. <laughs> Chop up it. Uh, but I don't want to make too much noise. You want to try a piece of camera, man? What do you mean? Focus, man. 
Wait, yes. Body of Fred. But when I go to Boston, I'm going to use this um, paper. Look at the meat, yo. It's just nice and juicy and soft. Mm. Soft. Ready. Mm. Yup. It is a whole vibe. We look greedy, you don't want to put them there. I need to make the pork still on. You don't want to make it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yo, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love this part, man. A little fat. Oh my god, it melts like butter. <laughs> Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of another video. Let me tell you, uh, first I started out believing like the day is not going to be so good because of the rain and everything like that. But it just shows you man, just go out there do something and you never know, you maybe meet some really cool people or you get to eat some really cool food, you know. Um, for those persons who want to try the dish, definitely try it out, I'll have the recipe inside of the description box. It's not even going to be quite a recipe because I don't really cook recipes per se, but I'll give you a basic guideline on how to cook it exactly the way that I did. And um, yeah, send me some comments, let me know how yours turned out. and. Um, Remember she thinks love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep it late.